Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert, one of the pastors here at the church. And uh, as we're continuing our look at Psalms, we're going to be in Psalm chapter 40 today. I encourage you to, to read the entirety of this. We're going to be looking uh, mostly at the last couple of verses here. But as we do that, uh, I've got a question for us as we jump in, and that is, what do you seek? And we all, I think, have uh, things that we long after, things that we desire and we seek and we, we try to attain. And, and so maybe that's money or stuff. Maybe it's uh, attention or fame or success or accomplishment. Or maybe like, oh, I don't do any of those things. But maybe you seek comfort. Uh, maybe you seek uh, just being at peace and, and, and enjoying life and finding uh, just pleasures of just the, the days that, that come at you. And uh, whatever it is we seek, we get a great reminder uh, from Psalm chapter 40 of where we should direct that. And as we read the first uh, several verses of this, this uh, psalm, we see that it's a psalm where, where the psalmist is requesting help. He's crying out to God and help me in this, this moment of difficulty and, or tragedy or, or trouble that they're in. Uh, but we get to the last couple verses here, and that's where I want to focus on verse 16 and 17. He says this, he says, But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. You're my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh God. And, and I think there's a few reminders that we need here. The first reminder is that we need to, to be reminded that joy comes from knowing God and connecting with Him. That joy doesn't come from us uh, finding the things that we're seeking in life, but joy comes when we seek after the Lord and we find our identity, our purpose, our connection in Him. That's why he says, may all who seek the Lord have joy. He, and, and to say that God is good, which is the second thing that we need to acknowledge, that God is good. God is great. And if you struggle with that, let me encourage you to spend some time reflecting on the past. Uh, and all throughout the book of Psalms, and we've mentioned this, several of us who, who are, are walking through the book of Psalms with you recognize that the way to see God's goodness is often looking in the rearview mirror uh, of our life, of history, of how God has worked. And sometimes in the present, we struggle to see how is God here right now. But when we look back, sometimes days, weeks, months, years, decades, it's so much clearer to look in that way. So spend some time reflecting, how has God showed up in your life? How have you seen him provide or care for you or, or help you in times of difficulty or bless you when you weren't expecting it? Because uh, that's the second thing. We just need to acknowledge that God is good and God is great. But the third thing that this reminds us here in Psalms is that, that we need to remember that God cares about us. That God cares about us is uh, just one person on the, this vast planet in the scope of history. God has concern and care for us. Did you hear what he said in verse 17? He says, as for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. He's saying, I'm just this small, lowly person, but the God of the universe cares about me. And, and this is a truth that we see all throughout Scripture, that God knows each and every one of us distinctly and intimately. God understands us and the things that we need, the things that we're longing for, the things we're struggling with. He understands our motivations, our wiring, our personalities, and, and the way our world works. And so cry out to Him. Share with Him the things that you're longing for, the things you're struggling with, the things that you need, that you need help with, because He wants to hear from you. He cares about you. Even you may feel insignificant, small, and lowly, but know that God cares about you as a person. And God is great. And when we find our connection in Him, we find joy in knowing and connecting with the God of the universe. So I hope today, if you're at a good point, if you're in a place of difficulty, if you're in a place of stress, if you're in a place of confusion, that you would find your joy in connecting with the God of the universe. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.